Let's talk about what conversion means or what it means when someone becomes a convert or is converted from one religion to another. And it's an expression that was used back in the New Testament times. Jesus talked about how the Pharisees would go to extreme lengths to just win one convert, one person who would enter into their belief system. And then basically they would ruin them by giving them all kinds of false teachings. And so that word convert or conversion is something that's been around for a long time. If you think about just even how we use it in today's day and age, we have conversion tables where we might convert from one unit of measurement to another. So we see it, it relates to change. We might convert from gas to electricity or electricity to gas. We have conversion vans, right? Where you take a, a normal van and then you convert it into like a van of awesomeness, I guess. And even our belief systems can be changed or be converted. I remember growing up, my dad really did not believe in chiropractors at all. I would guess that chiropractic medicine has grown a lot since then, but he would call them quacks and stuff. And, and so that was kind of my perception. And then one day I went to a conference and at that conference, I got a migraine, which was fairly common for me at the time. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to miss the whole conference. I'm going to be vomiting. It's going to be terrible. And, you know, I just get these headaches that were like, oh, you just want to jump off a cliff type of headaches. And, and there was a guy there who was a chiropractor and he came into my room and he adjusted me. And I thought, oh, yeah, whatever. Because at the time, the medicines weren't very good. None of them helped. And, you know, I'd see something like, you know, Tylenol migraine and be like, oh, yeah, right. It's, I might as well eat M&Ms. At least they taste good. But he adjusted me and just just immediately, it's like, wow, that worked. And I could tell that I had little lines in my eyes and they went away and the headache never came. And it's like, wow, that's really cool. And, and so I was converted in my thinking, in the, the way that I believed about chiropractic medicine. And I, I still think some of them maybe aren't very good at it, but there are, are some who can really make a difference. And in Acts 15, 3, it says that the church sent Paul and Barnabas on their way. As they traveled through Phoenicia and Samaria, they told how the Gentiles had been converted. This news made all the believers very glad. So they were converted from people who did not believe in Jesus to people who did believe in Jesus. That they put their faith in how Jesus had come and lived among them and had died on the cross to pay for their sins. So that they could have eternal life by believing in Jesus and what he had done for them. And they could cross from death to life. They could enter into the family of God, into the, the kingdom of God. And they were really converting in their belief system, but, but more than that, even to a, a whole way of life. And then in Romans 16, in the second part of the verse there, Paul asked to greet this person who, he says, was the first convert to Christ in the province of Asia. And so this is a person who has converted to Christianity. And I think... We need to remember that, that conversion is like a big change, right? It's something really significant. And I wonder if in American Christianity we miss a little bit of that because we tend to really focus on just the gospel. Just you become a Christian by putting your faith in Jesus Christ. And that's good. That is how you become a Christian. But we maybe de-emphasize that you're entering into this new life that, that now we're going to follow Jesus that's going to radically change our whole lives. And I think maybe the idea of conversion or being a convert captures that a little bit more. So yes, we become a Christian by putting our faith in Jesus, but that conversion, that change is more than just a change of our belief system, but it results in a change of life where we actually begin to follow Jesus and he leads us down a different life-giving path. So if you're not a Christian, I encourage you to become a Christian, to put your faith in Jesus Christ and what he's done for you. And if you are, are a Christian already, I encourage you to think about really following Jesus and living a life of conversion and not just a life of belief.